Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another video, a short one from me today and it's a uh, third time lucky I suppose for trying to record a um, tutorial on how to download my model matching uh, file from flightsim.to as you can see here. So uh, I hope those of you who've uh, downloaded it finding it useful, um, it's certainly the, the best we can do at the moment on on VATSIM. Um, in absence of any proper model matching being built into the sim yet um, so I do hope you find it useful and I thank each one of you for downloading it and uh, you're probably watching this video if you've gone through my uh, model matching download tab on flightsim.to and you found the uh, file installation video button so um, if you're new to the channel please uh, hit like and subscribe or hit like if you find the video useful but um, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and uh, check out all my other videos uh, as well, including a lot of um, sneak previews and updates in relation to the A32NX project, as I'm a, I'm a quality tester for those guys and the uh, amazing work that they're doing. So uh, this one, this video is about how to uh, download and install my model matching file. Now it's not really strictly model matching because all it's doing really is trying to find the call signs, aircraft and deliveries and it's trying to blend them to the best that we can achieve on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I suppose it's really more livery matching than anything else. But uh, to download it from my uh, model matching page, uh, we're currently version 1.8.2 as uh, at time of recording. Uh, you scroll down and you find the download tab go ahead and click that and it will load up the download page and it will give you the options to uh, donate to uh, either of the two options there if you want to support my ongoing work. So we go nice and quick, it's a very small file in comparison to a lot of the others on here. Um, so you can see it's downloaded at the very bottom there. And let's go ahead and just show it in folder. And there it is. So how do we get it from here into vPilot? Now if you've already installed vPilot and you've gone through the basic setup so that it points to Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, you'll have a vPilot files folder that's been generated. You can see it here on my recents tab. Um, but we'll look into that in a second. So what we need to do first is just extract my zip folder. Uh, don't do it like that though. Extract it into its own folder like so. And you can see it's uh, pinged up there. So let's get rid of those. Um, once we've extracted it, we head into the file, and you've got two different options. Very briefly, if you have uh, the Boeing 787-10, then you have Microsoft Flight Simulator's Premium Deluxe Edition. Um, and if that's you, you want the very first file that you see. If that's not you, then you likely have the standard edition. Um, so basically if you have the Boeing 787-10 in the sim you want the premium deluxe model matching file and if you don't then you want the standard edition only file uh, folder. Uh, and if you're standard edition then you click into that folder and there's a dedicated model matching VMR file that I've created for you guys uh, and its own readme and bits like that. So be sure to check out the readmes as you uh, go through the installation and I hope you find this video useful. If you do, make sure you hit subscribe. Um, so how do we take it out of this folder and put it into vPilot? Well, I've got Premium Deluxe, I've got the Boeing 787-10 in the sim. So I go ahead and select the Premium Deluxe file. Copy, and then you want to head to the place on your PC that contains your uh, wherever you've installed the vPilot files folder and for me that's in documents oddly enough there it is there so we head into vPilot files and if you've installed it for the first time it will be blank it will be empty go ahead and paste the relevant VMR file directly into the file uh, vPilot files tab you can see there there we go it's in now can minimize that for the time being and uh, you now want to open vPilot. So for me I've pinned it from the taskbar at the bottom. 
So right click again and run as administrator. And there we go, it goes through some version checks uh, and things like that. If, whenever a new version is released, uh, it will prompt you if you want to download it um, once you click it and open the program. So update it whenever an update comes out. So how do we then get vPilot to read the VMR file? Well, we need to go into the settings tab at the very top of the vPilot menu. So we go ahead and click in there. And uh, we want to go into the model matching tab, as you can see. Now, I've been asked a few times, um, once you add the file, this results for the rescan 34 models found um, will not change. So don't worry about that too much. We want to head into the custom rules tab, and that will be blank. Now we have to add custom rule set, and then we navigate to our vPilot files folder, double click, and then we find our model matching file, and we double click or we hit open, and there we go, it lists it now into our custom rule set. And all we do is we hit apply, hit OK, and you can see there it's added a line, custom model matching rules loaded. So if you're going to go straight into a flight on VATSIM, now you've downloaded it, what I would recommend is for you to um, close the program down, close vPilot down and uh, reopen it using administrator mode. Uh, run as administrator. Now there's something else I really want to briefly touch upon and uh, again it's something that gets asked a lot. Once you're in vPilot, if you change the weather um, it's in the FAQs tab on my discussions page by the way so be sure to check that out and if you're not sure what airlines are supported currently uh, I've listed it by region in the discussions tab for airlines supported loads of stuff on there so let me know what you think so say for example um, obviously we can't see it I'm not doing it at the moment but say for example we've spawned at London Heathrow and uh, we want to change the weather and once we change the weather all of the aircraft have disappeared well that's that's a fault that's uh, known by uh, a Sobo and the vPilot team and they're trying to fix that it's nothing to do with this file the file itself that I've created should work um, 100% but there's an issue with the way that vPilot and Microsoft Flight Simulator the two programs talk to each other um, so we're getting odd things happen sometimes um, but we just have to wait for those to be fixed and it will get better in time as the simulator develops. If you want to look at what aircraft are being matched you can type in on the chat box on vPilot when you've spawned in and you've connected to the network dot aircraft and if you hit enter at that point it will bring up a, uh, a tab like uh, that looks like this so it will show you all the different aircraft that have uh, been matched with the file as you can see listed here and any ones that haven't been able to be matched uh, and that's if they're using random call signs or they're using random aircraft type codes that aren't yet in the model matching file um, but yeah if I spot any as I go on VATSIM I'll try and add it in to be the most relevant match uh, as possible um, but if I've missed any uh, just drop me a little uh, note in the discussions tab on the flightsim.to page there's a uh, feature and requests discussion Add it in there and just let me know, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll make a list and try and try and add those in for you guys. Um, but you might look at it and go, well, hold on a second. I can see, um, as an example, I can see this Virgin Atlantic flight is on the stand next to me, but it's certainly not showing as a Boeing 787 Virgin Atlantic. It's showing as a British Airways or a United. Um, but that's again an issue with the way the vPilot program is talking to Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's something going haywire a little bit between the two of them because if the liveries are working um, we should be able to see them uh, and as you can see here and I've seen it a couple of times which is why I've sort of mentioned it in this video vPilot thinks it's using a Virgin Atlantic livery for that aircraft and it's matched it successfully um, on first pass but you can see 
if you physically can see that it's not, then it obviously hasn't worked somehow, but it thinks it, it, it thinks it's correct. Um, there's nothing we can do about that. Again, it'll be something we have to just wait for the development teams to fix uh, on either the vPilot side or the, the Sobo Microsoft Flight Simulator side. Um, but it's the best we can do. I mean, I've had uh, good success with it, and that's why I've sort of tweaked it and added loads to it and released it to uh, all of you guys to download for free um, via flightsim.to. It's exclusive to flightsim.to as well, you can't get it anywhere else. Um, and as you can see, I've tried to take some of the snapshots to show you guys how um, how successful it's working. But I, I like it, and it works pretty well for me. Um, and I do have the odd issue crop up every now and again that just can't be fixed. Um, brilliant. Spam emails. Go away. Every time I try and record something, I get a spam email pop up. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. And uh, check out all of my other videos on the channel as well. Uh, I've got some VATSIM tutorials and things for the, you guys that are just getting started on how to file and plans flights and things. Um, hit subscribe and uh, check out all of my other videos. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found it useful.